Hey, Peter Buswell here for DrVOIP.com. We are a an Amazon Connect service delivery partner. We've done a lot of these call centers, and we have a lot of experience. And if there's something you need help with, whether it's uh, design and deployment from clean piece of paper right through training uh, and ongoing support, uh, please give us a call. We'd love to help you out. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to share with you today a tech tip on voicemail configuration. One of the first things that uh, you learn when playing with Amazon Connect is that they do not have a voicemail solution out of the box. Like many things in Amazon Connect, if you want it, you're going to have to create it yourself. So what we're looking for here, rather than transferring the call off to some external voicemail system in your PPX or, uh, you know, some other place that you might have a voicemail, why not create it right here using standard uh, contact flow configurations? And that's uh, what I'm going to describe to you here. This is simple, but it works and you should give it a try. So here are the steps. First, you're going to configure a queue, and let's call that queue something creative like voice message queue. Then that, okay, next thing you're going to do is create a routing profile, and you're going to put that queue in the routing profile. So this is a routing profile that uh, leads only to the voicemail queue, and then you're going to uh, take the default whisper function and uh, copy it and save as and configure uh, uh, a whisper function for use as a voicemail greeting. So I'll explain that in just a minute. And, and then you're going to configure a user, uh, create a user with uh, some creative name like voicemail. Obviously, you can create multiple mailboxes using this technology, and uh, you can perhaps have them associated with specific cues, right? So you can uh, um, stick this user in a queue. That would be interesting. Or you can just create a voicemail user for support, one for uh, sales and one for accounting, etc. But at the end of the day, it's this user that will actually be the, uh, uh, the voicemail box. So you're going to assign the user that you created to the routing profile. And you're also going to configure um, auto answer. Uh, for that uh, that user, so that when that user is called, uh, it automatically answers. And then you're going to create your contact flow. So um, the whisper function. So you you'll go in there and uh, you'll copy one of the default uh, customer uh, um, whisper functions. And what that is is a a uh, function that is played towards the caller before the caller is connected uh, to the agent. Be careful, there's a one for customer and there's one for agent. You want the one for customer, just uh, open it up and then do a save as and uh, call it voicemail whisper function or something useful like that. The whisper function is actually going to become your voicemail greeting. So uh, what you're gonna do in your whisper function is uh, have a play prompt and you know this is where you're going to put your greeting. So, uh, sorry we missed your call. Please leave a message, and someone will call you back just as soon as possible. Beep, <laughs> and that uh, that needs to get set up. Once you've done that, uh, you're going to go ahead and create your contact flow. So just like you would do uh, with any call handler, typically you're gonna come in, you're gonna check your hours of operation. If it's on hours, you go you know, down this road and process your call accordingly. If you're closed, you may go to this other uh, contact flow. 
And that contact flow might include uh, press a, a digit uh, to leave a voice message, and you'll transfer that to the uh, to this contact flow or something close to it. And it's pretty simple. What we're going to do here is first, we want to set the call recording behavior. So what we want to do here is record the customer. It's not going to hurt if you say record both the customer and the agent. Uh, but uh, go ahead and make sure that you've got your, your recording uh, turned on. Uh, then you're going to name the whisper flow. If you remember in the previous uh, slide, uh, we set up the whisper flow. And then you're going to set the working queue, which is the queue that we had set up for voicemail, uh, the voicemail queue. And then, of course, we're going to transfer the call to the queue. Got some error handling over here. So what's going to happen here? When you hit this contact flow, uh, it turns the recording on. It sets the whisper flow. And the whisper flow contains your greeting, right? So then we set the working queue. You have to set a working queue before you can transfer to queue. And what's going to happen here is this is going to transfer the queue. The only agent in that queue is that voicemail user we have already discussed. And if you remember, that user is logged in, right? They have to be logged in for this to work. So remember that someone's got to log in the voicemail box. And uh, we're going to transfer the caller to that agent. And keep in mind, the agent is set to auto answer. So as soon as that call hits that agent, it's going to, uh, the agent will automatically answer. And what's going to happen is that this whisper flow will now play to the caller. So the call flow is, uh, um, the call is transferred to the queue prior to uh, being connected. Uh, to the agent, it plays whatever you put in your whisper prompt. And so basically, it's your voicemail greeting. And then it's going to record uh, the conversation, which is going to look to the caller as if it were a voicemail box. And that's about as complex as it gets. It's dirt cheap to implement doesn't require any external Lambda functions or anything like that. You can do this all with just the basic uh, contact flow. Uh, message playback, I don't know if you're aware of it, but you can go into your dashboard. Um, you go into the section under um, real-time metrics, and there's a, a contact search in there, and you can bring this up. This is very useful for troubleshooting, but in this instance, we're going to use it to search for all of the user. I'm searching for user here, the voicemail box, right? That's my user. So I'm going to search for all the calls for the voicemail box. Typically, you're going to do this the next morning. Uh, so you know, you're only going to search for the day before. Um, and that's going to bring up a list of the phone calls. Uh, and you'll notice there is a recording button here, and you can just hit that puppy, and it's going to play back the recording, which is basically the voice message left by your caller. So, you know, again, it's cheap, it's dirty, but it's very effective. Uh, you can easily do this. And uh, I guess the downside is you probably don't want to give access to your dashboard uh, to just anybody, so be careful what permission. I think you can just give them the, the contact center manager or the quality analyst uh, permission, and that will enable a supervisor to get in here and listen to messages. Uh, if you happen to be running the Dexter dashboard, which I highly recommend since it's built so much functionality, uh, basically, the same strategy applies, except that uh, a supervisor would not have to uh, log into the AWS console. They could just uh, go to the activity page in Dexter. They can search by user uh, or queue, and it's going to bring up the same recordings. And it also has a playback button, and you're all done. So. A uh, very simple voicemail solution. Uh, you can configure one mailbox or you can configure uh, 
several mailboxes. Uh, you can put uh, uh, um, your mailboxes, uh, you can put multiple users in your uh, queue. And so if you have a lot of heavy traffic in, into your voicemail system, you probably want to create more than one user. Um, but give it a try. I think you'll find it's effective. It gets the job done and doesn't run up any additional charges for other services, nor does it cost you uh, any uh, charges associated with transferring off to some other voicemail system. I hope you have found this uh, informative, and I thank you very much for viewing.